All right. Um, I'm going to do a quick little update on the crane. We've been working on um, just trying to get a lot of the stuff working. So far, we've taken off a few panels. We've blasted them. As you see, we've got some severe pitting issues in a few places, but yeah, the blasting cabin in there is working pretty decent, not great. Um, we went to Handy Dandy Harbor Freight, and we bought this bad boy. It was a hundred and nineteen dollars. It's a surface finisher. I know it's Harbor Freight, but um, somebody I heard had a uh, a theory that if you buy the cheap one and you break it, you upgrade. But if you buy the cheap one and it lasts, so be it. Um, and plus, I've never used one of these drum sanders. I want to see how handy it would be. So we used it a little last night, and it didn't do a bad job. Um, I might give a quick demo when I got a minute. Um, but anyway, on the crane, we're taking it, stripping the paint off, um, and we're going to put these tarps up. Use my crappy paint gun, a little bit of automotive paint, and get her slicked out. We're replacing the headlights. We're tearing apart the front ballast here where it was rusted, and by my lord, I mean, this is all supposed to be solid, and it is just absolutely coming apart. So, um, it's like it's steel. It's like this is a steel plate right here that has iron in the front, which is very likely. Um, they probably did it to save money um because you're just using the cast iron for weight at that point so it's probably a cast iron filled oh weight um i had a pile of rust you can see right there this all came out of the front Ugh. pretty crummy but yeah so we're gonna strip it um i think we've got green and yellow so we're going to use those two together slick it out um it ain't gonna be perfect but it'll at least have some paint on it um i don't know if i'm going to do the boom yet but man i'm just trying to eat the body um we went ahead and grabbed some radiator hose and got our what do you call this damn thing air cleaner hooked up we're having some issues with overfueling right now and i've also got a leak out of my radiator i gotta fix minor stuff but this little harbor freight drum sander we'll go back to it it came with that 60 grit and it also came with i think it came with a 120 and a 240 grit it came with some extra tools um yeah that's a 120 and this is a 240 grit i don't imagine i'll actually use those much i don't do a lot of finishing work um it was 119 bucks i don't know what something like that cost but my only other grinders this poor old dewalt and you know these little suckers in there and we're on my disc those sand and disc are expensive so we're trying to avoid using a lot of those all right so maybe a tripod or a little tool i'm obviously not wearing safety glasses as well famous last word i'm gonna use it for a second but it helps me put So this little Harbor Freight drum sander, it has speed control, full slow, it's fast, it has a handle on it, pretty basic piece of equipment. Again. There you
backing out a little bit. I probably didn't get it tight enough to start with, but that might be an issue. We'll see. But anyway, I don't want to edit the video. But that little bit of time, it took it down to bare metal. <coughs> and I take it this is like an industrial grade paint. It's also probably like 30 years old. Um, on the actual rust here. Just there. It's not as good as a flat disc on taking off actual heavy rust and flakes, but it works. So, um, I might do a longer edit video on sanding this down. I want to try to get it done tonight. And I might do a video of it painting too. We're also replacing the headlights with LEDs. And we're going to add a winch plate to the front. Which is why I'm tearing that apart. But that'll have to come later. Um, so, there's my quick little Harbor Freight tool review on this disc grinder. It's nothing special. I haven't used it long term. Um, you'll have a better idea if it holds up tonight because I'll probably have to use it for about six hours. Um, getting this all put together and if it holds up cool if it doesn't um, if it's handy enough I might actually buy a name brand I wouldn't go with a wireless because well that's too much time and uh, yeah so once the crane's done we're gonna try to move to the 4BT truck we have to finish the Jeep but that'll never happen